All right, check it out, guys. It's Trevor James. We are in northern India, Amritsar, deep in Punjab. And today I'm so pumped because we're going for a full-on street food tour. It's gonna be great. Check it out. This is Amritsar, deep in Punjab, northern India. And here, you can find tons of Punjabi street food specialties and a rich culture that's worth flying in just to experience. We flew in from Kolkata specifically to eat and fell in love with the Punjabi food immediately. You're gonna fall in love the minute you come. There's a rich vegetarian culture here and a world famous Sikh temple that attracts millions of visitors per year, the Golden Temple. This is part one of two of our Amritsar experience, so make sure to watch all the way until the end to experience seven amazing street foods with us, including one of the world's most beautiful back kitchens and tons of curry from your dreams. So let's eat. So right up here, we're gonna try the most famous street food from Amritsar, the kulcha, the baked in a tandoor oven stuffed bread. Before we begin, I should explain why I'm wearing this beautiful kurta and turban. In the next Punjab video, you'll discover with us the Golden Temple, where it's mandatory to cover your head. So when we arrived, I figured I would go for the full-on experience and wear the full outfit, not only for the temple, but for our food tour as well to show respect. And to our discovery, everyone was just loving the outfit and gave us tons of respect back. Wow. Hi. Hi. How are you? Hi. Wow, very nice. These are all fresh kulcha. Look at this. We just found the kulcha heaven. So it's a... Uh, uh, potato, onion mix. potato onion mix to go into the kulcha to, to stuff it and into the tandoori oven oh it's it's beautiful lots of ghee on there as well oh yeah and fresh cilantro on there as well nice oh green spinach and this is a masala spice so they just cover it in masala spice green spinach and it's stuffed with that potato onion mixture, one by one. Yeah, it's beautiful. We came to Amritsar just to try this kulcha. Covered in ghee, it's so beautiful. And then just put right in deep into that huge tandoor oven. That is so beautiful. And you can just smell all the spices. Oh. So we're making fresh kulcha here. Amritsari Kulcha. It looks amazing. <laughs> they have just brought us right into the kitchen and we are enjoying watching how they make these fresh stuffed kulchas from heaven. We're gonna taste the beautiful Amritsari Kulcha here. Amritsari Kulcha just looks amazing. It looks amazing. Where are you from? Canada. Oh, here it is. Thank you. Wow. Look at that beautiful kulcha. We just got the beautiful Amritsari kulcha. Look at that stuffed, oh, baked bread covered in, look at all that butter deep in that tandoor oven. And you can actually see all that spinach has dried and crisped over. I think there's definitely some cumin seeds, some dry coriander, garam masala, a bit of salt and chili and chopped onions black pepper and all that garam masala, it's all in there and that just looks so beautiful. And the butter is just melting on there. And then there's also a bit of a chickpea gravy and a onion chutney. That should be a sour chutney. And we're just gonna dip that right into that chickpea delight. Try that out. Mmm, oh, oh wow. It's like a perfect mixture between buttery and fatty and greasy, spicy, and then this chickpea gravy brings it a healthy feel to it. A spice-packed, healthy feel. Next up, we went to get a classic breakfast on the street side in Amritsar and found some huge plump puris being made served with a thick and flavorful chickpea curry. What a great start to the day with that kulcha and now we have an auto. We have the auto for the whole day. We're just gonna keep exploring. We have a ton of food to try. You having fun thing? Yeah. yeah. What a great place here in Amritsar. Awesome guys. Right after that beautiful breakfast, we're going for more. So we're here getting our second breakfast. We're gonna get a nice puffed puri and chenna. Kese ho baya? Oh, ye kya hai? Puri chene. Puri chene. Oh, ek puri chene. Awesome. Look at this, guys. We're gonna start off with a big puffed puri and a 
Jenna, another chickpea mash oil. Looks good. Looks really good. We're gonna get one of those and try it out. Okay, there we go. Nice. Put it back? Okay. Awesome. This is one of the most famous street foods in all of India. Those look very nice. What I love is uh, how many different varieties of chickpea curry you can have here in India. Oh, looks amazing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Wow. Looks, looks really good. Thank you so much. So we just got the beautiful puffed puris. We've got a chickpea gravy, chickpea curry, and a potato curry as well. I love how many different varieties of chole there are in India. They're so good. And we are gonna try it out right here. It looks, oh, and they're so puffy. Whole wheat puri, steaming hot. There's really nothing like that puri and chole combo. But here, what really shined through was the potato curry. What I love about puri is that it's fried, but it somehow feels so healthy. And now we have this, oh yeah. And now we have this potato sabzi. Look at all the seeds in there. All the spices. Mmm. Wow. That is insanely good. That is so good. That is what it's all about right there. That potato sabzi, it's actually sweet and tangy and spicy. Oh, thank you. Very nice. <laughs> we, got a, we got a guy that just brought a table for us. There we go. And I'm just in love with India. So we just got invited to check out the sweets and the kitchen. Oh, wow. Look at this. Sujika halwa. Look at, this is the semolina pudding that they are making. Oh, the semolina pudding with fresh raisins. Look at that. They're just simmering that semolina with raisins and oil. You can see there's a bit of oil in there. And that is, oh, look at that. Semolina pudding. Oh, look at this. We're getting a sampler of sweets here. Oh, wow. It's pinny. So this is the pinny. It looks like an oat cookie. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh. Oh, yeah. It's good. It's very soft and it actually has a bit of texture to it as well. You can see there. It's very sweet. It actually just tastes almost like a like a cookie, like an oat cookie. After that nice chole and cookie, we explored deeper into Amritsar's back alleyways and found a random corner shop that had a huge selection of snacks, like gulab jamon sweet dough balls, more of that semolina pudding, fried pastries, and a flat grill covered in a chicken and tofu curry, both drizzled in ghee. This is an amazing, look at the colors here in these alleyways. And there is street food on every corner. Amritsar is just a truly beautiful city. Wow. Look at this, guys. Check it out here, guys. There is so much selection of things you can eat. This here is the semolina pudding, I believe, with raisins and melon seeds. Look at these. These look like little phyllo pastries. I believe those are stuffed with potato and probably lots of spice as well. There's a few different types of chutney here, and then the gulab jamun, which are like little dough balls, fried and then covered in that sweet rose syrup, and then the real jackpot. This, this is like a soya bean, I think it might be like a tofu, tofu chunk curry gravy, and they're gonna cover it with ghee. We're gonna try it out right on the corner. We just stumbled into this place, and it should be good. The locals are loving it. It's good? Is this the Nutri? No, Oh, the chole. So you have the chickpea curry and I think we're gonna try the Nutri, the soya chunks. Awesome. He's just gonna take these pancakes, cover them in butter, and put them right on that. Oh yeah, look at that. That just looks amazing. Oh, I should grow the, I should grow the beard. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Is this for me? Oh, thank you very much. Uh, yeah, kya hai? 
Nutri. Nutri, which is soybean. Soybean. Soybean chunks in a curry, in a curry. gravy. Yeah. And the bread as well. Yeah. With bread. Bread. Made on the grill right there. Taba. On the taba. Taba. Awesome. And then is this is this mango? Alu. Alu, oh potato. So there's radish, yeah. potato, yeah. carrot. Oh yeah, it looks so good. The rabri, tofu chunks. Looks like there's some green pepper in there, full of garlic, and he topped it with ghee. And then we've got this bread here. It's almost like a pancake. But it's full of garlic. I can smell that garlic. Amazing. And we're just gonna try that out. Oh, it looks really good. <laughs> try it out. Mmm. Wow. Oh, that's really good. Oh, that's semolina. That is truly amazing. It's actually very garlicky. It's garlicky and spicy and creamy. And that is a soft pancake. Right on the streets of Punjab. This is heaven. This is true heaven. Every province in India has a different food. And every time you try something new, it's just like entering a new world. You're so happy and you feel so good. After that awesome find on the street side, and before going to one of the most iconic curry joints in all of Punjab, we made a way to try a refreshing lassi, a must enjoy drink in India, but in particular here in Amritsar. We are going for more. And I think right here is a famous lassi joint. Awesome, thank you. Look at this. Beautiful, famous lassi joint. Kese ho vaya? Oh, a class lassi. Saffron lassi, 55. Yes, please. Saffron jalega. Saffron. We're gonna get a saffron lassi. Thank you. After ordering, I pulled out my camera quickly to take some video, and then to our surprise, we were graciously invited into the back kitchen to watch the magic. We are mixing up all of this curd in this big jug and pouring out each glass of this lassi. It should be sweet, kind of like a buttermilk, sweet and frothy and good. And it's just mesmerizing watching this action. He's also topping it with malai cream and butter on top of each frothy, buttermilk lassi. It looks amazing and we're gonna have to try it out. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, we go try it out. This, is, this looks really good. Beautiful. Look at that. We have a lassi and a ferny. He put the malai cream and butter on top. That is gonna be thick and rich and sweet. And then we have a ferny here, which is like a rice pudding with cardamom and edible silver wrapper on top. But what I really wanna try here first is this lassi. Look at that cream and butter. Oh, we're just gonna have a extremely artery clogging bite. First bite here. Let's try it out. Mmm. Oh yeah. Wow. Good. <laughs> really good. Oh, that is sweet and sour. And it's just chewing on that thick cream. It's so frothy. After that nice lassie and a very sweet and slightly nutty ferny that had a hint of cardamom, we made our way to try the most iconic curry joint in all of Punjab, the 100-year-old Kesar Dadaba, where each curry is made with 100% pure desi ghee, aka clarified butter. And the best part was how they let all the guests take a look in the back kitchen and smell the incredible aroma of spices, butter, and naan bread all being pumped out of the tandoor oven. Right up here is the legendary Kesar Dadaba. 100 year old vegetarian hotspot here serving Punjabi vegetarian delight. Oh yeah, here we are, Kesar Dadaba. Wow, look at these. Hi. 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 How are you? Thank you. Hi. Kesar uh, Daba. Kesar Daba. It looks great. Wow. Oh, great. So much specialties. Punjabi uh, specialties. Ah, uh, yeah. Uh, Can we take a look? Ah, uh, yeah. It's okay? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Look at these. Hello. Hi. How are you? Kesar Daba. Punjabi specialties. Look at these guys. Wow. Punjabi delight here. This is all vegetarian specialties. I've heard so much about this. Been looking forward to trying it for so long. All vegetarian, all using pure desi ghee. Oh yeah. What's this? Yeah, kya hai? Dal. Dal. Oh, nice. So that's dal, and it looks like he just put some spice on top there. 
Oh, dal lentil gravy, lentil stew. Amazing, and there's so many specialties here. I think these two here are paneer. Look at these different types of paneer stews, paneer curries. Oh, look at how thick that is. Oh, these just look amazing. What, what's this here? Barta. Barta, which is pea, barta. peas and eggplant. Eggplant. And tomato. Potato. Potato. Ghee. Ghee. Oh, it's, I love it. I hear you use pure desi ghee here. Yeah. Amazing. And what about this? Krai paneer. More paneer curry. Krai paneer. Krai paneer. Yeah. It's creamy. Creamy, creamy. And then what about over here? Malai pofta. Oh, malai pofta. It's potato curry. Yeah. Me. This is a paneer. Paneer? Yeah. Oh. Malai pofta. Malai pofta. And what's this? Rajma. Uh, beans. Yeah. Rajma. Beans too. Yeah. And same here? Chole. Chole. Chickpea. Yeah. Oh, it looks amazing. Whoa, what's this? What is palak paneer. Palak paneer. So spinach and paneer stew. Yeah. That just looks to die for. Amazing. And then what, what do we have over here? Paratha. Paratha. This kitchen is just absolutely mesmerizing. There is so much going on here. So this is, you're making the paratha? Yeah. And you cover it with ghee here. Yeah. And then the big tandoor ovens. Ghee. Oh. Desi ghee. Oh, it really is a sight to see. This is tandoor. This is the tandoor. Yeah. Huge tandoor. And you take the paratha. Like a paratha. And and you, oh. oh wow. And what else do we have here? Dal. This is dal. The dal. Wow. That's a huge, huge, big pot of dal. Amazing. That is gigantic and it's hot. Yeah. Oh. Incredible. What are these? Achar. Achar, like a pickle. Yeah. Radish with pickle. Thank you very much. Oh, and there's more. So these are the tali here. Yeah, tali. Tali, tali. Just amazing. It's mesmerizing. So what goes with the tali? What do you have with tali? Dal fry. Dal fry? Chole. Chole. Mixed veg. Vegetables? Rice. Rice. Oh, wow. What a healthy, what, a, what an amazing kitchen this is. Thank you for showing me around. Thank you so much. Wow, we are in like the vegetarian food heaven here in Punjab. We truly found the food heaven of Punjab. The aroma of pure desi ghee fills the air and the abundance of curries and homemade paratha bread stuffed with spiced potatoes and topped with cilantro will drive your hunger wild. If you step foot into this magical kitchen, you'll remember it forever as a food highlight of your entire life and crave the flavors long after you leave. They've got these dough balls and they're stuffing it here over here with potato full of spices and cilantro. They're stuffing it and then pushing it right in over here into that massive tandoori oven. Awesome. Classic, this really feels like you're stepping back in time. 100 year old restaurant. We're gonna try out a big veg tally. Wow, that's huge. Thank you. Oh, beautiful tally, veg tally from heaven. All vegetarian Punjabi specialties. Okay. At Kesar de Baba. Amazing. Oh, you can just smell right away, right when it arrives. You can smell that rich desi ghee. They use pure desi ghee, pure clarified butter to put on this paratha. We have one plain paratha and one stuffed paratha, stuffed with potato and spices. And they gave, we got the full on tali platter here today. They gave a ton of selection. Look at this. This is palak paneer, which is spinach and paneer cheese curry gravy. Oh yeah, it looks oily. They put a ton of desi ghee in all of this. This here is another paneer curry. This one is quite creamy. Looks like there's some green peppers in there. This is curd with gourd. So that is gonna be cooling. And the idea here is that you're gonna have a whole spectrum of flavor. This here is a chole, so chickpea stew. This here is the dal that we saw in that massive pot. And then this here is a bean stew as well. But what I really want to do, and what you can do is you can just grab this fresh, buttery paratha. This, this whole restaurant, this is like Punjabi vegetarian heaven. This whole restaurant just smells of butter. 
Mm. Oh, amazing. Absolutely perfect. The, the paratha is just so buttery. This is a heavy meal straight from heaven. It is creamy. It is so creamy. You can really taste the butter. Oh. And that paratha from that naan is slightly smoky. It's so perfect. This was the best meal of Punjab right here. Incredibly rich, buttery, and complex flavors from the hearts of the locals will leave you speechless. And after trying each one of these amazing curries, enjoying some rice and kulfi ice cream for dessert, we made our way to try a few more street foods with the little room we had left. Starting with a famous mango leather stall where they take mango, cover it in tons of spices and mouth puckering sauces. That was definitely the best vegetarian, the best Indian vegetarian meal that I've ever had. We got a lot of recommendations to try this Am Papad right here. Specialty mango. Kese ho bhaiya? Oh, this just looks amazing. Am, am Papad? Yes. Ek Am Papad. Bhaiya. <laughs> this is the Am Papad. Yes. It's dried mango. Dry mango. Oh yeah. Look at that. So this is the specialty here. Am papad, dried mango. Yes. And what's this? Uh, this is a sweet and sour. Sweet and sour dried ah, mango. Yes, yes, so yes. this is all sweet and this is sweet and sour. Yes. All mango, different types of varieties and different uh, shapes. Oh and wow. So many types of mango. What is this? This is a mango roll. Mango roll. With salt. With salt. So this black salt. So we have salty, yes. sweet and sour yes, and yes, sweet. Yes. This is salty. Oh. This is also salty. Great. There's a ton of varieties of dried mango you can see. Look at this. Oh, this lemon. Lemon. Oh, lemon. nice. And. Yeah. Garam masala. Garam masala. And, and black namak. This is black salt. Black salt. Black pepper. Oh, wow, that looks amazing. Red, red chili. Red chili. Oh, that looks great. Nice. I think I'm going to try this try sweet one out right away. Oh, nice. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. Well, wow, that is so flavorful. There's a lot in those spices. Look at the spice mixture on there. There's so many flavors going on in here. What do we have here? This is black pepper. Black salt. This is black salt. Garam masala. Garam masala. Red chili. Red chili. White salt. White salt. Tata salt. And these are garam masala, right? Oh, that's amazing. Oh, all of those combined mint just sauce. make your mouth come alive. Uh, and sauce. this is a mint sauce. Yes. Oh, nice. Oh, it's a little sour. Yes. Mmm, so flavorful. Mint. Mint. Mint chutney. Mint chutney with, uh, with tamarind. With tamarind, so a little sweet. Yes. Yeah. There's a citrusy, peppery, salty, sour, sweet from tamarind, dried mango kick going on in there. It's just incredible. What is this here? Mango pulp and dryness uh, sunlight. The mango pulp. Yes. Sun dried mango pulp. Yes, sun dried. Look at this. Oh, nice. And this is sour and sweet? Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. Oh, thank you. Yo, taste. It's like mango leather almost. Yeah, yes, yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh, yeah. This is good for, oh. good for digestion. Mm. Good for your, your body, your health. Yes. After hanging out and chatting with the owner a little bit more, and to finish up our day of street food, we explored a little more and found one of India's most iconic snacks, the samosa, and found a really nice, plump, and flavorful one. You can totally just explore these back streets for hours of Amritsar. The selection of food and things to buy here is amazing, and you can just see, you can just see this as the local neighborhood life. People are taking the rickshaws, walking, getting groceries. It really is another world here. Look at this, we've just found the samosa joint hot spot. Ek samosa, please. Thank you. And then they're gonna add a couple, we're adding a couple bits of chutney on there. Thank you. 
Samosa, look at that. Look at that fresh samosa. Oh, we're just gonna break it in half and see what's in there. Should be potato, maybe some coriander seed. Oh yeah, exactly. Look at that. Potato, coriander seed, and spice. Nice. We're just gonna dip it right into that. Oh, sweet tomato chutney. Mm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, crispy on the outside. It's not a large samosa, so there is quite a crispy outer layer to it, but the filling definitely has some spice. Coriander seed and a sweet tomato chutney. This has truly been an amazing food experience and I'm Ritzar. We are right at the Golden Temple. I would love to know what you thought about this video in the comments below. Please click that little thumbs up button and subscribe to this channel as well. Thanks so much for watching guys. We got Thai Howla merch if you want to get some too. Check out the description below.